Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how I take notes on my iPad and write neatly. What you need is an iPad, an Apple Pencil and an app where you can take notes. I'm using Notability. At the beginning I select grid paper, which in my opinion makes a huge difference. For my titles I like to get an inspiration from Pinterest. I just type calligraphy ideas and choose something that catches my eye. When I write the title, I keep it small to make sure that it's neat. Then when I'm finished, I select scissors and adjust the size and position of the title. Sometimes I use highlighter to go over the title to make it stand out. At the beginning it might be difficult to get used to writing on glass. You will have to experiment with your hand position and how you hold the apple pencil. But after practicing a few times it becomes really easy and you get used to it. I like to use the zoom feature. I find that it improves my handwriting and the overall appearance of my notes. I try to write straight and keep the handwriting simple, but anything that you're comfortable with will work, so anything that you like or you're used to. Keep in mind that some of these tips might not work for you, so just experiment and see what you like, what you don't like. I like to leave a gap between paragraphs. I usually skip two to three lines and I stay consistent throughout my notes. I highlight all of the subheadings with the same color that I used for the title. Quick tip, hold the Apple Pencil for a little longer once you've highlighted something to make the line straight. I try to include graphs, charts or mind maps in my notes. I find that in this way it's easier to memorize more information and sometimes it makes the notes easier to understand. I usually try to include diagrams by simply splitting the screen and searching for an image that I want to add to my notes. Sometimes I draw the diagrams. I have a whole video which shows how to do it. I'll leave it in the description below. Once I drag the image into my notes, I adjust the size, position and write a label just in case if later I forget what the picture is about. I like to highlight using a different color, keywords, definitions, or just information I think are important or difficult to learn. This is handy because every time when I open these notes, I know what to focus on first.
My last tip is to remove the grid paper and keep it blank, but you can skip this step, it just depends on what you prefer. And that's it for this video, thank you so much for watching and your support. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, bye!